joints. Which one's my favorite? Let's find out. Alright, now my favorite joint is by far the full outer joint. But before we take a look at why, let's ask the Terminator and check in over here and see what he thinks. Hey Terminator, what's your favorite SQL join? My favorite SQL join is the inner join. Inner joins are great for combining two tables with matching fields. They are efficient and easy to understand. Inner joins are good, but I think they're overused. What do you think? I agree that they are overused, but they can still be very effective when used correctly. I think it is important to explore other types of joins, like left and right joins, to find the best solution for the situation. Well, my favorite join is the full outer join. What do you think of that? I think the full outer join can be a great solution in certain scenarios. It allows you to get data from both tables in a single query, and it can be very powerful. However, I would still recommend exploring other types of joins to make sure you find the most efficient and effective solution. All right, now let me demonstrate why the full outer join is by far my favorite join. All right, so now let's look at an example that demonstrates why I absolutely love the full outer join. All right, so we've got two tables here, and we're gonna pretend this is data that came from two different departments, sales data, okay? And for some reason, it's not matching, okay? This is a common occurrence in organizations. All right, so we've got our sales from sales. This is the data from our sales team, and sales from finance, this table is from our finance team. So let's run this, all right? Now you can see, obviously, the grid on the top is the first table, the grid on the bottom is the second table, sales from finance. Now they match exactly, right? In other words, structure-wise, they're identical, okay? But for some reason, the sales reports from these two departments are different. Why? Well, this is the perfect use case for a full outer join. This is gonna show us exactly why they're different, okay? So let's do, so we'll start with uh, the top query. Let's do a full outer join, okay? Full outer join these two tables, all right. And this is this is just great, right? So we'll do uh, on. We'll join them on the sales order ID. So s dot sales order ID. F dot sales order ID. All right. So now we got our full outer join. Let's run this. Now look at this. This is beautiful. So obviously. The four columns on the left is our first table, sales from sales. Four columns on the right is our sales from finance. But look at what this join did here. Notice these first 10 records are null. So this is basically saying, hey, look, I don't have these records in the sales from sales table, but I do have these in the sales from finance table. And that, right? So in other words, it's saying, listen, if I can't find a match, I'm still going to give you everything, right? But hey, look. If I can find match these records, I'll match them up for you, right? Likewise, let's scroll down in the bottom and you can see it also gives you all the records, right? So these were in the sales from sales table, these last 10 records, but they were not in the sales from finance table. So the full outer join basically says, listen, I'll try to match them up if I can, but if not, don't worry, I got you. You're still gonna get everything, all right? So using the full outer join, we can clearly see what the problem is here each side is missing some sales records that the other side has. There you have it, the full outer join. I love it. Thanks so much for watching, but please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell.